A lot of people know that there's some great female singers out there, but there are so many good female musicians in metal. I am the fire. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Belgian Jasper and this week I am celebrating International Women's Day. Earlier this week I already released a video about the top 20 female singers in metal and now we're gonna talk about the best female musicians in heavy metal. Similar to the video about the singers, we're going to do this in a chronological way. So we're gonna start with the absolute pioneers and we're gonna count it back down to today. There's going to be 20 musicians in total and how can we start anywhere else than with Joe and Jet. Joe and Jet broke through as a member of the Runaways, an all-female punk rock band uh, in the late 70s. When she went solo in the early 80s, you know, she really had to fight. Um, very few people were interested in signing her, so she started her own label and uh, obviously I Love Rock and Roll became a massive anthem and it really is a song about female empowerment, which is super cool. Now she wasn't the only runaway that had solo success after that band. The second musician on this list, just like John, is a guitar player and singer. Uh, I'm obviously talking about Lita Ford. Alright, so we are already leaving the 80s behind with my uh, third uh, pick. Uh, this is actually uh, from an album from 1990 and this is from a completely crazy but so awesome uh, guitar player, The Great Cat, with the song Beethoven Mosh. So Catherine Thomas, aka The Great Cat, um, you know, classically schooled musician uh, would um, make heavy metal versions of well-known classical pieces, but also make uh, some original songs. She's still around today, um, but uh, yeah, it was, she was definitely a whirlwind uh, when she uh, came onto the scene in the late 80s. I am going to jump all the way to the early 2000s, not that there were not great metal musicians that just happened to be female in the 90s, but for my top 20, I am going to go straight to Alison Robertson, aka Donna R, from the Donnas. So the Donnas play some fun garage rock, um, maybe not so much heavy metal, but they were the right band at the right time, and uh, was an all-female rock band that you know wasn't taking any prisoners and uh, definitely inspired a lot of girls out there. At the same time that the Donnas were you know paving the way for you know more maybe radio-friendly garage rock, you also had the band Kitty that was part of the new metal wave, um, an all-female band as well, uh, featuring the really cool drummer Mercedes Lander. So Kitty got a lot of attention, uh, it you know wasn't necessarily the first or the most extreme all-female uh, band in metal, uh, but they definitely got some very quick popularity as they were part of new metal and, uh, and at the start of like this, you know, uh, modern American metal. And, and they were definitely more extreme than the Donnas. But then again, there were bands with female musicians that were way more extreme than Kitty. Um, just to name one example, number six on my list, Yvonne from Darkened Northern Slaughter Cult. Also in these, you know, mid 2000s, uh, another band that had a prominent female member who were bringing something quite different was bleeding through with Martha Peterson on keyboards, and the addition of keyboards really made bleeding through stand out in this whole, you know, heavy metalcore American metal scene. Okay, so we had some more extreme bands, but uh, let's take it back to more traditional heavy metal. In 2010, um, there was a solo album of the uh, phenomenal guitar player Orianthi. Me, 
Now, Orianthi had some great solo material, but uh, yeah, she definitely broke through um, as she was the guitar player for Alice Cooper, for Michael Jackson, and also her collaborations with Steve Vai. In those late 2000s, and then definitely as the next decade was getting started, one band in particular that was fronted by a woman who also was one of the guitar shredders uh, really took over, and this person probably became the biggest woman in rock and metal today. I'm talking about Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm. Now, metal incorporates a lot of different influences. So, on this list, you're not only going to find musicians that play traditional hard rock and metal instruments. A perfect example is at the number 10 spot, where we find Elena Lesnik from Blackthorn, who plays the violin. As the decade moved on, a trend that we were seeing was that there was this whole new wave of modern neoclassical power metal coming from Japan. Um, sometimes all female bands, sometimes mixed but with some phenomenal female musicians. A couple of those bands are gonna appear on this list and the first one is Aldius with guitar player Yoshi. It's really cool to see more and more representation of people from all over the world on the main stage of metal. Japan has always been a country that embraced heavy metal, but you know, apart from a few exceptions, until recently, few Japanese bands really became popular worldwide. Um, so it's really cool to see this evolution. Another band coming from Japan with some really talented musicians is D-Drive with guitar player Yuki. <laughs> Okay, let's leave Japan behind for a second and go to another country that has always been a big metal country, but maybe has remained somewhat in the underground for most part, Brazil, where we find Nervosa, which is, you know, one of the more exciting thrash bands of the last few years. This band has been driven on by guitar player Prika Amaral, and she is fucking awesome. Earlier in this video, I already mentioned Orianti, who played for Alice Cooper. Well, you know, now we've got another really talented guitar player that is Alice Cooper's guitarist. But she also does a lot of cool solo stuff. Obviously, I'm talking about Nita Strauss. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to Japan because there's another band that released some really cool stuff. A really great album in 2019, I'm talking about Love Bites. This is a band where really every member could be on this list. If I had to pick one person, I would go with guitar player Miyaku. Sometimes a popular band um, makes a big change in lineup and people can be worried at times, um, especially if they switch out a male member to a female member, and if in this case the female member not only brings some excellent guitar skills, but also some vocals uh, to the mix. Uh, the band that I'm talking about is Baroness, and let's be honest, I mean, there was an awesome band before, but when they brought on board Gina Gleason, this band became even so much better. <laughs> One of the best discoveries for me in 2019 uh, was a band, I mean it's a pretty new band although a lot of very experienced people were part of it. The band Tainev who play some form of epic heavy metal adventure rock which has become quite popular recently. This is a band that again has shared vocal duties between male singer and female singer. And the female singer Cindy Maynard is also a ridiculously awesome bass player. We could be out there under the sun. The bass is really the heart of Tainif's sound and uh, yeah, phenomenal album that they released in 2019. If you haven't already done so, check it out. Okay, so we already talked about Nervosa earlier today with Prika Amaral as guitar player. Well, 
So today, Preka is the only original member um, for the latest album that came out, which was a really cool album. Preka got the help of several talented musicians from different parts of the world. And one person that really elevated the sound of Nervosa was the talented drummer from Greece, Eleni Nota. Eleni already had an army of loyal fans before she joined Nervosa and if you listen to what she does on Perpetual Chaos, it's easy to see why. Once in a while there's this new band that the entire industry just says, okay, this is gonna be a really big band, uh, you know, this is one that you need to follow. In the last few years, one of those bands was obviously Code Orange and the really great guitar skills of Reva Myers um, had a big part to play in that. Okay, we're at the number 20 spot already, and yes, this is another guitar player from another band that did a phenomenal job in 2020 with one of the best releases of the year. I'm talking about the all-female doom metal band Convent, who have a really, really strong guitar player with Sara Helena Nodegaard. There you go, that was the list of the 20 best female musicians, according to me, of all time. I'm sure that you have some suggestions for this list as well. Put those in the comments and I will check them out. Stay tuned for a lot more inspirational content this week featuring some of the leading women in the metal industry. It's amazing to see the sheer amount of talent and how many women are picking up instruments and playing uh, and proving to everybody across the globe that women rock. All right, so if you like that video, click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.